Hey all, welcome to Anchored. I hope you were able to join us yesterday for Local Fest, where we visited with community partners and explored ways to be the footprint of Jesus in our community. That ties deeper into our topic for this week, our relationship to the world, those who are hurting, broken, and lost. Let's start in perhaps an unlikely place, 2 Corinthians 5, verses 18 through 20, where Paul states, All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. An ambassador is an authorized representative or messenger. When we talk about our relationship to the world, it's easy to focus on people's outward needs and how we can fix them. These verses remind us, however, that our assignment is much bigger. One, we are to be reconciled to God, and two, we are to be reconcilers leading others to God. Luke 10, 27 digs deeper into this assignment. Jesus answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind. Be reconciled and love your neighbor as yourself. Be a reconciler. Anyone can help someone who is hurting, broken, or lost, and many people do. But our biblical worldview should influence us to look different than the world. It should put the focus of our efforts on Christ, not us. And as we enter into our own brokenness and our need for Jesus, we can fully share with other hurting people the hope that comes only from Him. If we are to be reconcilers, then the true solution to helping others isn't just addressing poverty or material needs. That's important, but our help should be rooted in the power of Jesus' death and resurrection, where we are reconciled to Him and by Him and sent out to be reconcilers in His name. True help exists when both the giver and the receiver together move closer to living in right relationship with God. This doesn't mean we have to be perfect before we can serve. In fact, it means just the opposite. When we remember our own brokenness and need for Jesus, serving naturally pours out from us. More than anything, people need Jesus, and we are called to show the way.